Hey there, everyone. I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated. So, all right, it's time for the contest results. If you haven't seen the contest video, I'm giving away 50 broken laptops, 10 each to five people, in order to encourage people to start repair and refurbishing businesses. I want to give these laptops to people who demonstrate they know what they're doing, that they're motivated, and that they have a plan for getting laptops fixed and out into the world. So just a review of the contest, uh, there are 10 of each laptop, uh, white MacBook A1181s, uh, black MacBook A1181s, 15-inch Pro Aluminums, 12-inch iBook G4s, and white unibody A1342 MacBooks. Uh, these laptops are incomplete in many ways, not many batteries, drives, and I'm only giving away one charger per lot. They have all kinds of issues and some are damaged or may not power on. Uh, they're a mess in other words, and there's nothing uh, here that's simple and ready to go. But the idea is that they're a starter kit for refurbishing. And the fact is that laptops you find in the world are also a mess, so this is a good experiment for people who are considering doing this for real. You can use the broken ones to fix the ones that have potential, and uh, the best source of parts is always a broken laptop after all. At first I was just going to make a post in the comments with the winners, but I thought, you know, why not make this more public? Why not make a video announcing the winners? Uh, there have been 150 comments, which is a lot, and it was really, really difficult, I have to say. It was difficult to pick the winners because there were a ton of responses that were really good, and a lot of them were basically equivalent to the winners. So at the end of the day, I just kind of had to pick some people. So if you don't win, it's not that I didn't like your response or I don't like you. It's just that something caught my eye on a few of them. And also that I don't have a million computers to give away, unfortunately. So I just had to pick some people. I wish I had uh, 10 laptops for everyone, honestly. One thing I want to say is this contest is for the U.S. only, and a contest like this really makes you realize how many people are outside the U.S. Um, I really feel bad that I couldn't make this uh, international, but reality is that one of these boxes weighs like 60 pounds, and it would cost $300 to ship internationally, uh, whereas they cost about 60 U.S. Uh, domestically. So it, it really makes it impossible. Um, I mean, that's more than the computers are even worth. So soon I want to do an international only contest at some point, um, maybe for something lighter like iPads or MacBook Airs. So stay tuned for that. Also, another observation was that a lot of people said they wanted a computer for personal use or because they need one for school or things like that. But again, the point of the contest is to encourage small refurbishing businesses, uh, not necessarily just to get a person a computer they need. Uh, there's the whole saying about you can give someone a fish or you can teach someone to fish. Well, I want to teach people to fish because producing people who are doing refurbishing is what's going to save a lot more of the computers, which is the whole point. All right, so the first winner and the winner of the A1181 white MacBooks is Austin Sams. Uh, Austin writes, hello, my name is Austin Sams, and I think it's great you're doing this. But besides that, I started an LLC called Helping Hands Technology. My goal is to take e-waste from recycling centers and hopefully refurbish it to sell at a cheap price or at times give away to low-income families, schools, and nonprofits. Um, I'd like the 1181s or white unibodies. I uh, hope you consider us. We're just some high schoolers trying to make a difference. Uh, and he posts his uh, Facebook group. Um, so yeah, I think this is great. Austin seems to know what he's doing. He's already started an organization which shows his dedication, uh, talks about refurbishing, talks about helping people. So yeah, I think uh, these laptops would be a great fit. So uh, congratulations, Austin. All right, so next up is the winner of the black MacBooks, uh, Slaf. Jabuka, I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering your name. Um, he writes, I love repairing old computers, opening a laptop chassis and getting my hands dirty is like meditation for me. That's actually my least favorite part, getting my hands dirty. Um, I've been doing it for years, mainly buying surplus from the local universities and repairing them and selling them, them for cheap on Craigslist. I also collect MacBooks and I do not have a black A1181 yet, so that's a batch I would choose. I'll fix as many as I can, probably keep one and give the others away on Craigslist. Either way, thanks for doing this. Um, so yeah, um, he demonstrates that he's a love for this and that he's been doing it for a long time, knows what he's doing. Um, I think it's great he's buying them from uh, universities. That's, that's I don't talk about that much, but that's just as good, if not better, than going to recyclers because the schools dump their computers with uh, the recyclers. So if you can get them from the schools, that's, that's the best thing you can do. Basically, they haven't been destroyed yet. And... Um, yeah, and you're saving them from being scrapped as well. So anyway, congratulations. 
All right, the 1342 white unibody MacBook is next. And gosh, I got to tell you, there was a lot of competition for this one. Everyone wants the white unibodies. And it really makes sense because they're the best machine. They, they go up to high Sierra. They're very durable. Uh, they, they clean up well. Um, so yeah, a lot of people wanted these. Um, and it's funny, one strategy people could take is to ask for the, the least popular computers because there were only a couple people asking for um, a couple of the lots. So that's that's one strategy to increase your chances. Uh, but anyway, uh, white unibody, the winner is Maria Joanna. And she writes, hello, John, I'm a female repairer outside of Chicago. I feel as if there are not enough women repairers around here or, or even on the internet. Uh, I hope to repair the 1342 as I have some experience, but ne nevertheless, I'm excited to fully understand these amazing machines. Uh, you and Hugh Jeffries have been such great YouTubers, inspired me to start my own business. Um, I lived outside of Chicago for 20 years, uh, just moved away from there a few years ago, actually. Um, but yeah, I agree. I think there should be more women in repair. There's no reason there shouldn't be. Um, you know, 95% of us are, are guys, which doesn't really make sense. And it is harder for women in this business because, you know, it's, it's a guys club and, you know, guys look at women a certain way and that makes things tricky. So yeah, I, I, I think things should change in that direction. Um, you know, Joanna has a business, so she's already doing it. That's great. She's got experience. She knows what she's knows what's going on. And uh, yeah, I think these computers will be in good hands. So congratulations. You know, there was so much competition for the white unibodies that I decided to do something crazy and give away a second lot of white unibodies. You know, why not? Why not? So, uh, Mind Turtle DXR, you are the winner of the second lot of white unibodies. No idea what Mind Turtle is. Um, I don't know, maybe a video game, but I recognize you from Twitter. So anyway, he says, I would go with the A1342s. I chose this particular model as I'm more familiar while working on the boards for these similar models. Uh, bought a $50 MacBook Pro, a uh, couple uh, repair scenarios, uh, talking about board repair, want to keep them out of landfills, that sort of thing. So yeah, I, I, I like what he's saying. Um, seems to have a good attitude, seems to have already jumped into the, the board repair situation, and he wants to use these as a sort of like a test case scenario, which is which is cool. Um, keep in mind, if you have a hundred white unibodies, it tends to not be the board that has problems. It tends to be the screen and the top case and the keyboard, that kind of thing. So it tends to not be the board that's the bottleneck. But, you know, if you're using these, you know, to practice on, it's, it's, a, it's a good model to practice on because the boards are relatively cheap. So, um, yeah, anyway, congratulations. I think I think uh, you'll, you'll do well with these. Next up is the 12-inch iBook G4, and the winner is Rice Reese. I'm sorry, I'm sure I'm screwing that up. Uh, Gentili. Um, he states, "Hi, I'm interested in the iBook 12-inch uh, G4. I've been heavily interested in electronics repair and modding, and have had several successful projects on my own time. I would like a new project to keep me occupied in my free time and help hone skills related to repair and refurbishing, as well as being able to establish a more fleshed-out portfolio." So that sounds great. Uh, he sounds like someone who can deal with sort of a retro product um, you know these are old machines so they're not really good to sell to consumers they're more of like a, a collector kind of thing uh, so you know modding sounds great um, yeah, they're, they're fun old machines. I miss working on them. I, I You know, there was a time where this is all I was working on, this machine here. Uh, but, you know, now, because I need to make money, I have to work on newer machines. But, uh, but yeah, it was a fun one, and I uh, hope you enjoy them. And the grand finale is the 15-inch aluminum MacBook Pro, and these go to Warren Binder. Uh, Warren writes, uh, like you, I'm against planned obsolescence. A uh, huge fan of right to repair, repair electronics on the side, I refer refurbish MacBooks. Uh, so it looks like he has a long history of repair and uh, refurbishing and uh, all kinds of stuff. Not going to read the whole document here, but uh, seems to be very well versed in all of this and specifically mentions the 15-inch uh, pros. So uh, yeah, congratulations. I, I think these will be a really good fit. All right, so that's it. I've reached out to the winners, but if you haven't seen my message, uh, please send me an email so that we can make arrangements. 
And uh, so even if you didn't win, I want to make it clear that anyone can still do this. These computers are really only worth $100 or $200 in this condition. Um, the whole lot of 10 is only worth that much. And the whole point of refurbishing is being able to find computers on a regular basis. So if you get 10 free computers, that's great. But if you don't build the ability to buy from recyclers or others on an ongoing basis so that you have a, a, an ongoing supply, then it's pretty worthless really. 10 computers won't last long and then what do you do? So if you didn't win or even if you did, I really think you should check out my video on buying from recyclers. It's not easy to do honestly. It's not easy to build these relationships. It's not like walking into a store, but if you get a good thing going with a recycler, you can be set up for years. And if you care about the environment and saving machines from being destroyed, uh, really buying recyclers is the only from recyclers is the only way to do it because recyclers are the end of the line for these devices. And if you rescue machines from recyclers, you truly are keeping them from being scrapped. It's like rescuing a dog from the pound. If you, if you don't take it, they might euthanize the dog the next day. Uh, recyclers deal with millions of devices, and if they don't have a convenient way to sell off any given type of device, they just end up scrapping it. And, and that's not to say they're the bad guys. They just have an impossible job, and they have too much to deal with, which is why we need to help them out. But yeah, if I have one mission in this world, it's to get thousands of small businesses started and buying from recyclers. Passing right to repair legislation is great and all and very necessary, but it's going to be hard to do and it might take years. So in the meantime, the one thing we can do is save the devices that exist uh, that are on the chopping block right now. Seriously, there are enough repairable and reusable de devices flowing through the recyclers for 100,000 people to base their businesses on. Think about that. 100,000 small businesses, 100,000 independent people taking control of their lives and making something happen in the world. That's what I've done for myself, and that's really what I want to see thousands of other people doing. Anyway, that's basically it. Uh, thanks to everyone out there. It's been really great building this YouTube channel and meeting so many cool people. Uh, we've got to keep that going. And uh, also on Twitter. Twitter has been a really great community. Uh, here's mine. Check me out uh, for more Twitter contests. And, you know, I post a lot of general nonsense and other stuff on there. I post a lot about recycling and repair, so you might find it interesting. Uh, I'm also on Instagram, which is mainly my art. I make art with broken screens, and I use GPU defense and laptops that I find as filters to affect my photography. Basically, I pull up a photograph on a machine with a GPU defect, I take a picture of what the defect does to the picture, and then I load that picture on another machine and, you know, do another layer, etc. So that's sort of fun uh, and something that came out of refurbishing that I never would have guessed. Um, so anyway, thanks again, everyone. I hope the winners have fun with this. And again, if you didn't win, just remember that you can make this happen on your own. And really, that's the best way, because learning how to find these machines yourself is the most important skill of all. So thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.